What's up everybody? So on the last episode, we got the harness kind of uh, mocked up in the car and I figured out pretty much how uh, all my wiring is supposed to go and kind of got everything fitted. But today I'm going to hopefully finish up the harness completely. I've got it loomed, I've got um, a couple of the connectors on, and then I've got a few things fitted onto the intake manifold. So I'll show you the harness and pretty much what I have so far for everything else. So here's the harness so far. I put a 12 pin Deutsch connector on for everything that goes in the chassis, everything from 12 volt switch to uh, my boost control switch to the map switching, fuel pump, all that's going through there. And then of course, everything's nice and neatly loomed. Got a new grommet for my firewall. And then I started putting my new connectors on. I was going to use a label maker and label everything. And I went ahead and made all my labels. And of course, I found out this stuff doesn't, uh, it's not quite big enough to go on all of the harness. So I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I've got it on a couple things, but I'll probably just take it off for now. But this is how everything looks so far. Um, everything came out pretty good with looming it with this uh, TechFlex style loom. But I'm going to start putting all these connectors on and hopefully get this thing in the car before the end of the day. So I've got the harness completed. Finally got all my connectors on. I spent the better part of the day pretty much uh, pinning everything and putting all the connectors on. So the harness is finally complete. Pretty happy with it. Um, of course, you know, I left a couple of the labels on there. I'll probably take them off once I get it on the car. And the only thing I have left is to put the grounds on for all the coils. But for now, we're going to go ahead and get this thing thrown in the car, get everything plugged in finally, and start putting the car back together. Pretty happy with it. So let's get it in. All right, well, I spaced out and just started putting the car together. So got everything run up the back of the engine bay, plugged in. I forgot to order the right intake or sorry, coolant temp sensor. So I've got to get the right connector for that. My cast is hooked up now. Then everything is run around to this side. Injectors plugged in, everything like that. A TPS over here, and then I just gotta put the map sensor in and plug it in. And then everything is run back here. It's kind of a mess. I need to work on it a little bit. And then of course, the new firewall grommet. And then I've got my coil pack set back here. Not too happy with how I've got everything set up right now. I'll probably go back later and change it and make something a little bit neater, but I'm just trying to not spend too much money right now initially setting everything up. So once I get the car running, I'll probably make some changes when my budget changes and I can do a little bit more nicer stuff. But for now, this is what I got. So then we'll run inside the car. And it's a bit of a mess right now. I haven't completely run everything. But this connector goes to um, everything for inside of the car. So I can disconnect this and pull the harness back out into the engine bay. Then, of course, I got my fuse box. And then I've got one relay that controls everything. I got it tucked up here. So it's a 100 amp relay, and it'll be plenty for uh, all the stuff I'm running. It's just to turn on the uh, fuse box instead of having individual relays for everything. Just I'll have one relay for turning on and off the whole car. And then, of course, I've got to run this bundle of wires uh, into the dash somewhere if I'm going to put... Um, a trim switch for boost, um, 
the two-step stuff, my map switching, all that, and then of course uh, run the wire back to the trunk for my fuel pump signal. So that's what I got right now, and then of course I've got my wideband stuff already run through, and then I've just got to rewire all of that, and then hopefully here pretty soon I'll be able to fire the car up. I've been doing this over uh, a week or so, just when I get home from work, work on it some, so I'm not in too big of a rush, so that's what's taking so long on getting this video up. But yeah, hopefully within the next few days I can start trying to fire the car up. And then soon get it put on the dyno. Alright, well, got everything put in the car, got everything hooked up. I uh, got the Mega Squirt set up with all the base settings. And I'll show you some of that here in a little bit. Um... I had a small problem and I had to ask the guys on the Z pages for a little bit of help. I was just overthinking things and didn't hook up my relay properly. But anyway, I uh, got this thing set up, got it fired up and running. Um, pretty happy with everything so far. Just got to go through and mess with the settings in Tuner Studios. So I'll fire it up here real quick and let you see what it sounds like. All right, well, let's get this thing fired up. All right. Got everything going on Tuner Studios. Um, but one thing I have noticed is my FR gauge definitely doesn't move um, with my wideband sensor itself. So you can rub it. And it doesn't move, so I'm going to play with that. I'll probably ask my boss a couple questions about it. But, let's see here. We'll go to the ignition settings. So these are your settings you need to have in Tuner Studios for everything to work properly. I use the generic uh, information that they gave you from Tuner Studios, and I kept getting cam faults. So these were the settings that work and I didn't get any cam faults and the car definitely seems a little bit happier. And then um, of course you put in your injector information and all that stuff. But yeah, everything seems to be running pretty good. I've got to get my idle control fixed and a few other things with this whole uh, con car continuing to run situation. But so far I'm happy for what I've gotten done to it. Alright, so as you can see, I've got this thing completely just tore apart at the moment. I'm going to put um, the old gauges back in for the oil pressure and the voltage because I'm not going to use any of the um, gauges I had before. Actually, uh, both of them went bad, so I'm just not going to mess with them anymore. Um, and then at some point, I'm going to put a tablet here in the dash for all my gauges for Tuner Studios. But next, I'll be cleaning all this mess up and running the wires through the dash for um, the clutch switch for the two-step activation. And then... Um, all my other switches and things like that. I'm either going to put here in the center console, uh, above the radio, or put in here. I'm not really sure. I've just got everything tore apart, just trying to get some ideas. But I'm going to get all this cleaned up. So, everything out here in the engine bay, uh, not much has changed. Uh, I've got to redo the intercooler pipe from the throttle body to down here at the charge pipe. Um, I'll probably just add a couple inches of three inch piping to my existing piece because of the mass airflow sensor. And then I've got to secure my boost control solenoid and get that, um, plumbed in. And then 
clean up all my wiring down here and everything over here with my flex fuel sensor. My hose for that's a little bit too long. And then just secure my uh, fan relay and get all that hooked up properly. And then, of course, got to make a cover for the cast now. Um, definitely just don't want to leave that exposed and getting wet. And then, of course, I've got to get the right connector for my coolant temp sensor. And then, of course, um, buying uh, my idle control motor. I guess I, I think I ordered it off of Amazon or something. Um, I personally don't think it's working properly. Um, just hooking it up with a battery. I don't see the plunger on the idle motor moving. So I'll have to go into that and figure out what in the world's going on with it. Um, or just get a new one. Or maybe not even use it. We'll see. Um, but I've still got all my vacuum lines ran from my old boost control solenoid. I'm just going to have to move them over here. And then just clean up the harness and the ignition wires and stuff like that. And just make everything look presentable again. But so far, pretty happy. Definitely ready to take this thing out and drive it and just see how much more different it is compared to the Niztune. Um, I know I'm definitely going to have to spend some time tuning it, but we'll see what it does. But that's all i got time for today. Um, this thing's definitely been a little bit of a hassle figuring out problems. Um, this is the first time I've built a whole harness for a car and done everything personally by myself at home. Most of the time I do this stuff at work and if I run across a problem, I can just go ask a coworker and get it figured out. But hey, it's, that's, it's learning. But, um, I've got a couple of the small problems figured out. I had to ask the guys on the Z page, um, just some simple stuff and it was pretty stupid that I missed it and just didn't think about it. But um, yeah, so hopefully next time taking this thing out on the street, driving around, doing some um, drivability tuning, and then maybe even hitting a dyno. But that's it for today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more content and have a good night.